Hey guys, I just started putting Gatorade in the water right now for the fish. Now I'm just joking, please don't do that. You will absolutely kill your fish with Gatorade. This blue substance is called methylene blue and it's the only seasoning you need for your parrotfish soup. So the first thing I did was do a physical examination on Taro. She looks pretty good. No bumps, lumps, or cuts that I can see. So I'll treat this as a maintenance job. Methylene Blue by Cordon has so many different benefits, but the main one is being an antifungal medication. It also can be used as something called a dip. And that means we're literally gonna dip Taro into a bucket for 10 seconds and then take her out. This medication is not only used for antifungal purposes, but external parasites in fish and cyanide poisoning. I'm now going to prepare a bucket of water of her usual water from her aquarium in order to not shock her when I'm dipping her. This product does dye things when in water for a long period of time, which is why I don't want to put this directly into my tank. This medication says add 10 drops per gallon and this bucket is about 10 gallons. So we'll dose this with about 10 drops. Now I'll swirl it around with my hand to mix it up. Taro is usually pretty easy to handle. She's very used to being handled, so I'm not expecting a huge fight from her when I put her in. But in Taro's case, this is just a dip, so we don't have to worry about any of that today. This medication should be repeated every four days until symptoms clear. In my case, I won't be doing this again unless there's a real issue at hand or just maintenance. Now that Taro is blue, we're gonna slowly drop her back into her tank and the blue will wear off throughout the day. I don't know what makes you think Rocket is getting off easy though. We're gonna repeat the whole process over again with Rocket. His physical looks great. There's no cuts on him, lumps, bumps, or anything. The only thing that I notice at the moment is that he's just a little thin, but this is very normal because if you noticed in the previous video, the flower horns spat out their food and that's because I started experimenting with new foods. I have recently built up Rocket's courage to accept food from the top of the tank and just yesterday, he not only swam up to the surface to accept food, but accepted the food I wanted to put him on, which is a great big step. He'll now be dipped in the bucket for 10 seconds and swirled around to marinate. I wonder what goes on through his head during this. Now we give Rocket a little pat on the head and drop him into his tank. I spoke earlier about the specific food that I wanted to put him on. And I wanted to introduce you guys to my favorite flower horn food of all time. Okiko Platinum Headhunter and Color Faster. This is their main pellet and they do an excellent job at defining and growing the male's head or cock. It also says on the package that it aids in digestion, which is exactly what we need because of the flower horn sensitive stomach. Lastly, I find that it helps with the reds for flower horns, like Rocket, whose main base color is red, but it's only a faint red right now. But with the right food, his color will change dramatically. Anyways, this was just a short video as I just wanted to give you an update on Rocket as he has made fantastic progress and just wanted to show you guys how to make soup out of your pet fish and only to do this when needed or as a rare maintenance because you don't want any of these parasites to build immunity to this medication as it's powerful and very effective. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.